Tonight, parts of Newton are still flooded as the city is draining four to six inches of recent rain. Because of flooding, the wastewater plant was overflowing and pumping out raw sewage. Cakes Monica Castro was in Newton. City officials say sewage flowing is not unusual when they get heavy rains. This is new at 10. Monica. That's right. It's not unusual for the plant to pump out sewage, but city officials say it is very, very diluted. They recommended not playing in floodwaters because of possible bacteria. While the streets aren't flooded now, it was a different story this morning. Sand Creek tends to sometimes hop out of banks, and we had a lot of the local channels that also uh, were causing some street flooding. That's not the only issue the flooding caused. Because two creeks meet near this wastewater treatment plant, the plant couldn't handle all the water. Infiltration uh, gets into the sanitary sewer system, which is a lot of rainwater then mixes with everything else that's in the sanitary sewer. That ends up at the sewer treatment plant. That means raw sewage is pumped out. We had to do some discharging of raw sewage. It is very, very diluted. We have to notify the state when we do that. All of that ends up going on downstream. City officials urge people to avoid getting into the water because of bacteria. They also urge people to avoid driving in flooded areas. It could be an issue where it's very, lots deeper than you see. And even if it's not very deep, that could add wave action that could continue that flood water into somebody's house. City officials say they had a few people report water getting into their basement from the sanitary sewer backing up.